Donda Wangchun's troubles began four years ago while producing a film about Tibetan concerns about life in China. Chinese authorities saw the documentary as a threat to Chinese rule. Wang Chun shot leaving fear behind in the run-up to the Beijing Olympics and was later sentenced to six years in prison. Hua Mo has been trying to raise international awareness of her husband's case for several years. She spoke recently at a rally in New York and expressed fears to VOA about her husband's health. It's been five years since I've seen him. I've not heard his voice since March 17, 2008. Before Wang Chun began filming Leaving Fear Behind, Hlamo Tsol fled with their four children to India. Wang Chun got his film footage out of China but was detained shortly afterwards. Stephen Marshall is a Tibet specialist at the Congressional Executive Commission on China. In some respects, it's, we might have expected a longer sentence. Uh, he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, what he did was utterly peaceful, utterly reasonable, utterly consistent with exercising his uh, right under the Chinese constitution to freedom of expression. But in China, freedom of expression is not freedom of expression or freedom of speech. Tso says her husband's imprisonment wears heavily on her but she believes speaking out about it is helping him. His workload now has been reduced as a result of the intense campaign effort for his release and support from overseas. The more campaigning we can do for a prisoner, the more they will benefit, particularly when the campaign focuses on a specific individual and case. China sees itself as a liberator of the Tibetan people and argues that it has brought development, commerce and much-needed infrastructure to the region. But prior to the Beijing Olympics, protests began spreading across the Tibetan plateau. And Marshall says that led to at least 1,200 arrests. We're assuming that a lot of these people have been released. These numbers, however, the 1,200, for example, I would be stunned if that number was uh, even half of the total number. Under Chinese law, Wang Chun is now eligible for medical parole. And that's something his family hopes will happen soon. We Amide, VOA News, Washington.